Hello and welcome to day 23 of our Advent Calendar Devotions. My name is Lynn and today we are thinking about the wise men. Yesterday we heard that they gave gifts to Jesus, but why did they choose these specific gifts? Well, first of all, gold. Gold has always been a very, very valuable metal. It's been known as the metal of kings throughout history. In fact, when a queen in King 1 Kings 10 visited King Solomon, she bought so much gold. She had a caravan of camels loaded down. So the wise men bringing gold to Jesus showed that although his parents were poor, Jesus was royalty. The second gift, frankincense. Like a candle, this would have smelled amazing if we were there. In Jesus's day, though, frankincense wasn't used to make the house smell nice. In fact, it was used in the temple specifically to worship God. So the wise men bringing this to Jesus showed he is God. Now, myrrh, that's an interesting one because myrrh is a key ingredient in a mixture of spices used to prepare bodies that had died. Why in the world would you give a new baby myrrh? Remember prophecy, the word prophecy, it simply means to talk about something that'll happen in the future. It hasn't happened yet. Well, if we fast forward to John 19 verse 39, after Jesus had died on the cross, but before he was buried in the tomb, a friend of his bought a hundred pounds of myrrh and aloes to put on his body. By bringing these three specific gifts, the wise men emphasise three points. One, that Jesus is king. Two, that Jesus is fully God. And three, that Jesus is fully human. Wow. So just like the three wise men, what gifts can we bring to Jesus to worship him today? Let's pray. Thank you, God, for the greatest gift of all at Christmas. Thank you for your son, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, everyone, for joining me today. I hope you can come back again tomorrow for our final Advent devotion. Mm-hmm.